Good morning and welcome to Grounded. The first question we want to ask this morning is, do you ever struggle between the harassing lies of the enemy and the comforting voice of God? If and when you do, what do you hear? And most importantly, of what you hear, what is it that you believe? What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that you're unloved, unworthy, that God can't use you, that your circumstances will never change, that you are defined by your past? Or do you believe that you're chosen, that you're loved, that God has a plan and a purpose for you? So identity for um, each one of us is who we are, Yeah. right? It's not what we do, but who we are. But most importantly, our biblical identity is what matters. Standing, mm-hmm. tru- standing on the truth of what His Word says and not letting our feelings or anyone or anyone else define for us That's exactly what right. that identity is. Yes. Uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And then if we um, jump over to Romans chapter 8, Paul says in verse 38, For I am sure, I just love that. I love this, y'all listen. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor Mm. powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Drop the mic, stand up, do a praise lap, like, come on. I mean, it it doesn't get more sure than that. Mm -mm. Like, we are loved. If you're in Christ, like, you cannot be separated at all. Mm -mm. The more you realize you're loved, the more loving you are. Yes? Absolutely. The more you believe that you're worthy, the more confident you are. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the purposes that God has for mm-hmm. you, um, the more that you believe that you're provided for and secure, the more comforting that is, the yeah. more peace you feel, the more generous that you are in life. So you see a trend there. Mm-hmm. The more you believe about what God says about you and who mm-hmm. He says you are, the more the fruit of the Spirit within you begins to emerge in your life. Yeah. And what, what are the fruit, what's the fruit of the Spirit? Galatians love. says love, joy, joy peace, 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 patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. <laughs> self-control. <laughs> and there's no law against these things. Mm-hmm. Like abundance. Yeah. There's an abundance. And the spirit who dwells within you has provided that for us. Amen. Yes. Amen. So you're not really working toward feeling loved and feeling worthy and believing the identity that you have in Christ. You just have to make room. That's right. That's right. Um, That reminds me of like when we ask the Lord to fill us with more of him. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever done that? Like, Lord, just give me more of you. Give me more of you. I think what we're actually mm. asking is for less of ourselves because the work that God did on the cross, the second that we place our faith in Christ for eternal life, he already gave us all the available things. That's right. All of himself as much, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no like version in which we don't, um, have all of that we're going to have yeah. in Christ. It's just that there's a lot of us still in the way. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. So we want to encourage you this week and this morning and ourselves as well to just ask God uh, to make room, mm. to, to sloth off just the lies and the deceit that we've bought into and believed about ourselves, whether it be as a result of the lies of the enemy or our own feelings that we have allowed to take root as truth in our life and to just Mm. stand upon the biblical truth of God and what He says about who we are. Yeah, that's good. Let's pray about it. Okay, let's do it. 
Lord, thank you so much for your word and, and your promises. And Lord, I pray that we would um, stand on that today, Father, mm. that we would believe who you say we are in you and that we would make room for you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Amen. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every failure, God, you have every victory. 